everyone. We have with us today Dr. T. Rajamanar, who is uh, here to represent Sun Pharma. Sun Pharmaceutical Industries, uh, which is based in Vadodara, Gujarat, has undertaken five significant research projects and published 67 studies with 11 in index journals. Their groundbreaking work includes the development of the investigational drug uh, Utrobilide, which demonstrates significant potential in addressing obesity and metabolic syndrome. With 96 citations, Sun Pharma's research contributes to global healthcare advancements, particularly non-communicable diseases, reinforcing their commitment to innovative and impactful medical research. So, welcome to Medical Dialogues Black Bug Research Summit Awards, sir. It's really a pleasure to be having you here with us today. It's a great to be here and uh, really excited to be part of this program. Great, great. Uh, so, firstly, sir, as uh, you mentioned, Sun Pharma is, an, is a leading medical pharmaceutical industry. So, if I may ask, how can the pharmaceutical industry contribute to medical research? Now that we are representing medical research and it's a summit award here that we are representing. So, how can there be an integration between the two? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, as a pharma, the importance is to uh, make a drug which is affordable. Very true. And one thing is affordable means that what we are doing is what was there yesterday. And uh, if you look uh, last budget, uh -huh. there were three medicines where there is no import customs duty. But still patient needs to pay lakhs and lakhs every month. That's not an affordable medicine. So unless we initiate a drug discovery program and which can become truly innovation in India, that can become an affordable medicine. So look, we are looking into how we can be a part of the, not only making affordable drugs globally, but uh, which are not available, which are centric to India, which are specific to certain population, which are kind of orphan drugs. So how do we make this and how these things can be really life-saving for some of the patients who are in need of them? That's the kind of purpose. Very true. Very well, sir. The motto is well defined. I may uh, definitely highlight on that. Uh, sir, you mentioned, uh, you all know that you are an avid researcher. So, definitely, if you could just uh, let us know uh, uh, something about drug development. You mentioned there is global drug development happening, but affordability becomes the issue. So, coming to India, uh, what uh, message or anything that you would want to add on to that? You no, know, like last 30 years, I mean, in terms of uh, pharmaceutical research, in 1990, uh, our revenues, as uh, India, pharmaceutical revenue was 1 billion. And today we are about 60 billion. And we want to be 400 billion by 2047. Correct? Yes. So uh, when we say that Vikshit Bharat, Vikshit Bharat becoming 400 plus billion in pharma. Uh, means that either we are looking into what has been known or whether we want it to be on our own. Because if you look at uh, some of the medicines, in a month they, their revenue is 5 billion, one particular drug. And we are talking about 60 billion as more than 3,000 companies. So we have a lot of skills, we need to be trained, we need to be given opportunity as a job. But as a country, what we are doing in terms of making something new, making something that we can you know, put a flag that India is a discovery country. We can make drug discovery. So that's an important thing. And having said, the drug discovery is also something, uh, it's not uh, happens in weeks and months. It takes years and years and years and a lot of resources maybe about 500 millions of dollars and wait for 10 years and you don't know the drug will come out into the market or not it's questionable yes. big questionable but that uncertainty is there for everybody and today if you talk of big companies probably many of the best drugs which are becoming their i mean more than 40 percent of revenue is developed by some of the small companies and licensed and if that can happen, and we can also do, we can also think, and it's only thing that we need to put it in practice, how do you do drug discovery? Because drug discovery is like finding a Mahatma. We have pros and pros of people, but who is the best? And why you think he is the best? And how do you define that best? Where it would act, how it would act, whether it will reach, whether it will, it will talk to the, you know, 
wherever it is the disease condition where it can create a benefit to the patient. So these are the issues which we need to learn. And uh, Western countries, they have this understanding for decades. So they learn more from than their mistakes. from their mistakes. But we are trying to enter at this point in time, which is really to take a lot of time, but it's not impossible. We can certainly do that. So the initiative definitely, sir, it is going to benefit. Uh, it's just the motto to just take an initiative. Correct. It correct. all narrows down to that. So once the initiative happens, you have the line set ahead. Correct. Then yeah. it's just a path that you need to follow. Correct. correct. And then it, it takes everybody into that game. Like the way we started, uh, uh, you know, pharmaceutical. Very good. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for joining us at Medical Dialogues and we wish you all the best and being a part of this Medical Research Summit, it, it takes a privilege to be having you here with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.